Hello, look good. Afternoon, can you hear me? Wait a minute, I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, okay, how about my screen? Can you see my screen? Can you see, can, yeah, can you see my screen? Okay. So please louder your voice, look, because I can't hear really well. Yeah, wait. I will adjust my volume. Hmm. Volume, this one. Yeah, it's already 100. So now, how was your weekend look? I cannot hear you. Okay. So here, our lesson is Unit 56. I want you to answer this question. When was the last time you went to a party? Okay, what was the party for? Ah, oh, wait, I think we're done with this one, right, Look, And also this one. Are we done with this? Yeah. 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 Okay. Ah, and also this one. How about this one look? Yes or no? Not yet? Yeah. We are done? Yeah. Ah, okay. How about this? No. No. Okay, I want you to guess the five words. Let's start with number one. What word is this? Okay, that's flower. Very good. Uh, I don't know that. It's okay. How about number two? Two Okay, so number one, this is olive. Olive. 
Yeah. How about number two? Number two. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know this one also. Wait a minute. Let me see. Okay, how about number three? Number Number three. Yeah, I think this is caboose. I really don't know what's the meaning of caboose. C O C A B O O S E. Okay, let me find this one in a dictionary. When you say caboose, this means a part of a train that is attached at the back end and is used by people who work on the train. So I'm going to show you um, pictures of caboose. Yeah, so that you will know this word. Okay, so this is what we call caboose here at the back of the train. Can you see? I'm sorry. Can you see this one yeah. at the back of the train? Yeah. Okay, that's caboose. How about number three? Number How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, eight. 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 Right. What is this? Mm Um, I don't know. Okay, how about number four? I think you know this one.
friends. Yes, this is friends. Very good. How about number five? I don't know number three. Yeah. Ah, so number three is chocolate. Yeah, yeah. How about number five? You don't know number five? Yeah. Okay, this is a fruit. What is it? Huh? What is a fruit? It's a fruit that start with W. Do you know? No. Okay, so this is watermelon. Watermelon. Yes. It's okay, so maybe this is just a warm up. So now, since we're done, we're going to have a practice test for your listening skill. So by the way, look, you only have four lessons left with me. I mean, yeah, in Pantado, not just with me, in Pantado, you only have four lessons left. So here it is. Now, then we will, we will have class until next week only. So, can you see the screen? I want you to listen and draw. There's one example here. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. This is an excellent photo, Dad. When did you take it? It was at a party when I was still at school. It's a very old picture. Where are you? I can't see you here. I'm taking the photo. But there's my best friend, Michael, with his guitar. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's that person? You can't see his face. The boy with the torch. That's David. What's he looking for? I can't remember. Perhaps he lost something. Two. One of my teachers is here too, Mrs. Cook. She still is a teacher, Dad. Her first name is Sarah, isn't it? Yes, it is. She's taking a photo of the group, look. She teaches at my school now. Her hair isn't blonde now, it's grey. Three. And who's the girl in the group? You mean the girl in the black tights? I meant the one with curly hair. She's playing the drums. Oh, that's Betty. She still loves playing. Four. There's Helen, too. <laughs> I haven't seen her for years. Which one is she? The woman who's saying goodbye. She's already put her coat on. She's thanking the other woman, I think. Yes, she is, I'm sure. Five. And look, Pat's having a great time. The boy in the jeans? Well, he's having a good time too, but I meant his wife. She's the girl in the red dress. They weren't married then, of course. We were all still at school. 
They're very good at dancing. They still are. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's that person? You can't see his face. The boy with the torch. That's David. What's he looking for? I can't remember. Perhaps he lost something. Two. One of my teachers is here too, Mrs. Cook. She still is a teacher, Dad. Her first name is Sarah, isn't it? Yes, it is. She's taking a photo of the group. Look. She teaches at my school now. Her hair isn't blonde now, it's grey. Three. And who's the girl in the group? You mean the girl in the black tights? I meant the one with curly hair. She's playing the drums. Oh, that's Betty. She still loves playing. Four. There's Helen, too. <laughs> I haven't seen her for years. Which one is she? The woman who's saying goodbye. She's already put her coat on. She's thanking the other woman, I think. Yes, she is, I'm sure. Five. And look, Pat's having a great time. The boy in the jeans? Well, he's having a good time too, but I meant his wife. She's the girl in the red dress. They weren't married then, of course. We were all still at school. They're very good at dancing. They still are. That is the end of part one. Okay, let's check. We have here David, Sarah, Betty, Helen, and Pat. Very good. That is five out of five here. Look. So now let's proceed with part two. I want you to listen and write. There's one example here. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Tom, there's something here in the newspaper about a competition. It looks interesting. What kind of competition is it, Mum? You have to write a story and send it to the newspaper. I could do that. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. What do you have to write about? It says... The story is called My Secret Wish. That's difficult. No, it isn't. You want to be a famous footballer. It will be easy for you to write about that, won't it? I can try. And how long must it be? Does it say? Yes, you have to write about 400 words. That's not very much. It's about two pages, isn't it? You usually write about 200 words on a page. And if I win? You get a computer. Great! When do you have to send them the story? You must post it before the 14th of July. Is that enough time? I think so. I've got three weeks. Where must I send it? It says, write your name and address on it, put it in a big envelope, and post it to the newspaper office in Clifton Street. Is that C-L-I-F-T-E-N? No, C-L-I-F-T-O-N. OK, great. I'll begin now. Great. Now listen to part two again. Okay, so we have here name of the story, My Secret Wish, number of words, about 400. You can win a computer. Send story by July 14. Then the newspaper office, it's in Clifton Street. That's very good look. 10 out of 10. So now let's proceed with part three. Here it is. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. 
Which thing must Alex take to each lesson tomorrow? What have we got to bring to school for all the lessons tomorrow, Mr White? Well, the first lesson tomorrow is history, Alex. Please remember to bring a map with you for that lesson. First, we're going to look at some very old maps, and then at your new ones. They'll be very different. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen, and write a letter in each box. What else will we need in the morning? At ten o'clock, you'll have science. Please bring some salt with you, if you have some at home. We're going to put it on some ice. What happens when we do that? Well, we'll know tomorrow. Don't bring a lot. Just a little will be enough. And which lessons do we have after that? It's music after that. Did you know, if you take a comb and put paper over it, it sounds like... Well, it sounds very strange. Please bring one tomorrow so you can try this in class. Bring a plastic or a metal one. And what must we bring for the lessons in the afternoon, Mr White? Well, the first lesson after lunch is art. We're going to look at a video about swans and learn how they swim and fly. Then we're going to paint some but we're not going to use brushes. If you have any chopsticks at home, please bring those to the class. Don't ask me any more about this yet. What comes next? Geography. In that class, we're going to watch a short film about different forests in the world. If you have trees in your garden, please bring five or six different leaves with you to school. After the film, We'll talk about them. And must we bring anything else? Yes, Alex. Your last lesson tomorrow will be sports. You'll all play volleyball at the sports centre. Please bring some money to buy a drink after the game. You don't have to wear shorts there. You can wear your school trousers. Now listen to part three again. What else will we need in the morning? At ten o'clock, you'll have science. Please bring some salt with you, if you have some at home. We're going to put it on some ice. What happens when we do that? Well, we'll know tomorrow. Don't bring a lot. Just a little will be enough. And which lessons do we have after that? It's music after that. Did you know... If you take a comb and put paper over it, it sounds like... Well, <laughs> it sounds very strange. Please bring one tomorrow so you can try this in class. Bring a plastic or a metal one. And what must we bring for the lessons in the afternoon, Mr White? Well, the first lesson after lunch is art. We're going to look at a video about swans and learn how they swim and fly. Then we're going to paint some, but we're not going to use brushes. If you have any chopsticks at home, please bring those to the class. Don't ask me any more about this yet. What comes next? Geography. In that class, we're going to watch a short film about different forests in the world. If you have trees in your garden, Please bring five or six different leaves with you to school. After the film, we'll talk about them. And must we bring anything else? Yes, Alex. Your last lesson tomorrow will be sports. You'll all play volleyball at the sports centre. Please bring some money to buy a drink after the game. You don't have to wear shorts there. You can wear your school trousers. That is the end of part three. Okay, so we have here letter A, F, H, D, and E. Wow, great job. That is still a perfect score of 15 out of 15. Look, you're doing great. So let's proceed with part four. I want you to tick the box. Part four. Listen and look. 
There is one example. Where did Katie go on her birthday? Did you go to the theater on your birthday, Katie? Yes, Grandfather. And it wasn't boring. It was very interesting. That's good, because you wanted to go to the circus, didn't you? Yes, I did. Or to my favorite restaurant in town. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. How did Katie and her parents get there? Did you go there by train? We couldn't because there was a problem at the station. We had to take a taxi. Oh, they're expensive. Yes, Mom wasn't very happy about that. She wanted to go on the bus. Two. What time did the family arrive at the theater? Did you get to the theater late? No, we got there a long time before it started. And what time was that? Well, it took about half an hour, so we got there at a quarter to eight. It didn't start until a quarter past. Oh. Okay, so how did Katie and her parents get there? Letter C. What time did the family arrive at the theater? Letter B. Yeah. Quarter to eight. Three. Which was Katie's favorite actor? Which actor did you like the most? They were all great. But the man who was the pilot was the best, I think. And what about the others? Mom liked his wife best. She was the nurse. Dad's favorite actor was the policeman. Four. Where did Katie sit in the theater? Did you sit between your mom and dad in the theater? I wanted to, but there was a tall man in front, so I didn't sit there. So, who did you sit next to? I sat next to Mom and another girl. She's in my class at school. Five. What did Katie buy at the theater? And did you buy something nice to bring home with you? Yes. There were some excellent CDs, and there was a book about the theater, too. But I didn't buy them. I bought a picture. Why did you buy that? Because it had all the faces of the actors on it. Well, perhaps you can show it to me. I'll go and fetch it. Okay. So, which was Katie's favorite actor? B, where did Katie sit in the theater? C, what did Katie buy at the theater? A. So, you only have one mistake here. That's 14 out of, I'm um, sorry. This is 19 out of 20. Yes. So, now look, let's proceed with part five. I want you to listen, color, and draw. Part five. Listen. And look at the picture. There is one example. Would you like to colour this picture now? Oh yes. I love the elephants. Who are the people who are riding on the big one? I don't know their names, but can you colour the girl's skirt? Yes. I'll colour it green. OK? That's fine. Can you see the girl's green skirt? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw and write. 1. There's a castle in the hills. It looks lovely. Perhaps these people live there. Can you see the flags? Yes. Shall I colour one of them? Yes, please. Colour that one that's higher in the sky. 
Make it purple. All right. Two. I'd like to write something on this picture. Can I? OK. Can you see the baby elephant? He's got something on his back. Yes, he has. It looks like a kind of blanket. It does. Write the word star on it. Why? Because that's the baby elephant's name. Three. There are some lovely butterflies in this picture too. Oh, yes. Can I colour the one in the air? No, do the other one, the one on the plant. Make it pink. All right. I'll do that now. Four. And can you draw something too? Yes, I'm good at that. <laughs> can I draw a big hat on the boy's head? Oh yes, the sun is very hot. Then colour it brown. Can I do it orange? I prefer that colour. All right. Five. Now a parrot. I'd like to colour one. Well, you haven't used blue yet. How about that colour? Yes. Here it is. I'm ready. Shall I do the one that's flying? Yes. That looks great, doesn't it? Yes. I'm very happy with this picture now. Me too. Thank you. Now listen to part five again. One. There's a castle in the hills. It looks lovely. Perhaps these people live there. Can you see the flags? Yes. Shall I colour one of them? Yes, please. Colour that one that's higher in the sky. Make it purple. All right. Two. I'd like to write something on this picture. Can I? OK. Can you see the baby elephant? He's got something on his back. Yes, he has. It looks like a kind of blanket. It does. Write the word star on it. Why? Because that's the baby elephant's name. Three. There are some lovely butterflies in this picture too. Oh, yes. Can I colour the one in the air? No, do the other one, the one on the plant. Make it pink. All right. I'll do that now. Four. And can you draw something too? Yes, I'm good at that. <laughs> can I draw a big hat on the boy's head? Oh, yes. The sun is very hot. Then colour it brown. Can I do it orange? I prefer that colour. All right.
five. Now a parrot. I'd like to colour one. Well, you haven't used blue yet. How about that colour? Yes. Here it is. I'm ready. Shall I do the one that's flying? Yes. That looks great, doesn't it? Yes. I'm very happy with this picture now. Me too. Thank you. Okay, let me check. We have here colored the flag, which is higher purple. Very good. Right star on the blanket on the baby elephant's back. Very good. Color the butterfly on the plant pink. Great. Draw a hat on the boy's head and color the hat orange. Great. Color the flying parrot blue. Wow. So you only have one mistake for our listening practice test. So before we end, look. Do you have any question to teacher AM? By the way, did I give you homework uh, last week? Let me see. Ah, yeah. I give you homework last week, look. About grammar. So I want you to do your homework. You can submit that one before, as soon as you're done so that I can check. Then today, do you still want another homework? Or you will finish your previous homework. What do you want, Look. I cannot hear you. You are muted. I will finish. Okay. So I will not give you homework today, right? Okay. So bye-bye, Look. I'll be seeing you on Thursday. Bye-bye, teacher.